Good day class. In this video, I will teach you the step-by-step -step coding of, of cylindrical manipulator in robotics toolbox by Peter Cork for MATLAB Online. Okay, let's start. So, I have already created a script for cylindrical uh, manipulator. It's named uh, cylindrical underscore sim. So, let's uh, display the title. So display uh, cylindrical manipulator. Okay. Next is seems. Okay. So we'll base the variable, the individual variable in our kinematic diagram. So this is cylindrical manipulator. Okay, so A1, A2, and A3. Then uh, we have uh, joint variables theta1. So let's name it T1, D2, and D3. For link lengths, let's give uh, 3 meters for all link lengths. So 3 is equals to 3. A3 is equals to 3. <laughs> Next, joint variables. So, let's leave uh, T1 alone. We will use it uh, in our future application of this uh, toolbox. Okay, so for D2, let's say 2 meters. For D2, for D3, let's say also 2 meters. Okay. okay, for our uh, DH parameters, okay, so let's start from H01. So H0 underscore 1 is equals to link. So open parenthesis, square parenthesis, okay. So this the first link has a jo has a revolute joint. So this is a revolute. So this is zero. Next, D is equals to a sub one. Next, R is equals to zero. Alpha is equals to zero. Offset is equals to zero, then after offset is zero. Okay. Q limit. So H zero one. Oh, so this is negative. That Q limit is equals to uh, square parenthesis colon. So this is uh, the f so this is the base revolute joint. So let's start from negative pi over two to pi over two. So negative ninety degrees to ninety degrees. Okay. Then h one underscore two. So we are now at the second link. The second link is a prismatic joint. Okay. Because it is a prismatic joint, uh, theta is 270 degrees. Okay, so this is a uh, three times pi over two. Then comma. The D will be zero because this is prismatic joint. R is equals to zero, and alpha is equals to three times pi divided by two. Offset is equals to one because this is prismatic joint. Then the value of D based on the rule here. After offset, put the value of D. 
So this is a sub 2. Then h1 2 dot q limit is equals to square parentheses. So our limit is from 0 to d sub 2. Okay. So that's our uh, first, second link. Third link also has a revolute joint. So rh2 3 is equals to link close open parenthesis square parenthesis okay theta is 0 d is 0 r is 0 alpha is 0 offset is 1 after offset is the value of d so this is a sub 3 or a 3 Okay, the limit H23 dot Q limit is equals to square parenthesis as semicolon. So from 0 to D3. Cylindrical is equals to, so let's compile. Serial, oops, so serial link, okay, close open parenthesis, and square parenthesis, so H01, H12, then H23, and name, ano ba to? Ah, okay, this is cylindrical. So this is cylindrical. Then uh, let's plot it seal that plot was open parenthesis square parenthesis so zero 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 our uh, origin position then workspace the workspace command oops and comma and our size of our workspace okay square parenthesis so let's see our x axis. Mm, let's see. Uh, let's make our x axis starts from negative 5 up to positive 8. Then our y axis is from negative uh, 8 to positive 8. Then, our z-axis is from 0 up to, okay, so we have uh, a1, a1 is 3, a2 is 3, so 9, so let's make it uh, 13, or 15, okay, 15, then, Seal that ditch. Okay. Let's make sure we don't have values. So clear all at our command window. Clear all and CLC. Okay. So let's run F5. Okay. Let's see. So it's not good. <laughs> it doesn't look good. Make let's make our uh, z axis up to ten or eight. 
Okay, 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9. Oh, sorry. This is 3 plus 3, 6. Okay, this is... A1 is 3, A2 is 3, so 3 plus 3 is 6. So this is uh, 6 meters high. So let's make an allowance. Make it, let's make it 9. Okay. So again, clear all. Oh, line 27. We have an error in line 27. Line 27 is an error. Oh, okay, this is not good. Okay. So F5. So let's see what it's look like now. Okay, it's much better. Maximize. Okay, so this is the cylindrical manipulator. So let's check first in our uh, kinematic diagram if our simulation is right. So let's see. So... At the end effector, the axis should point at the right direction. Y axis should point downward. And axis should point to the front. Okay? Then, so it's the same. So the end effector frame is correct. So this mechanical manipulator may be correct. Let's now look at the base frame. So X sub 0 at the right side is... Ah, sorry. X sub, yes, X sub 0 at the right side is positive. It's correct. Y axis at the backward or the back side is positive. Okay, it's correct. And Z axis upward is also uh, positive. Okay, so this is correct. The simulation is correct. So let's try. So let's rotate the first joint or the first link. Okay. Then the second, uh, oh, I forgot. This is uh, prismatic. Okay, at the second link or the second joint. So this is extending. Okay. Then the third link or the third joint. Okay, so this is uh, quite perfect. Okay, this is quite perfect because the mechanical manipulator is fit on its workspace okay in its workspace so this is a uh, quite perfect and like the spherical okay so class this is the cylindrical manipulator so let's put again at the origin position okay oh origin okay so this is again the origin position Okay, so let's close this. Uh, if you want to design your cylindrical manipulator that is on a or installed on a ceiling, just make the A sub 1 negative because A sub 1 is the first link. Okay, it will make your mechanical manipulator. Uh, inverted okay then add some uh, negative uh, value at your z-axis size so don't forget that if we run this your cylindrical manipulator will be inverted oh except this one okay this is not correct uh-huh oh i forgot you should also invert negative 8, the positive A2. Okay. Because A1 and A2 uh, made the elevation of, of our cylindrical manipulation. Uh, cylindrical manipulator. So it should be neg both a negative A1 and negative A2. So let's run this. Let's see if it's correct. Okay, your cylindrical manipulator is already upside down. Okay. Just uh, smaller. Okay. So this is how you will make your cylindrical manipulator uh, inverted or upside down or designed to be installed on ceiling. Okay, so let's uh, turn it back. So A sub 1, A sub 2, and... 
0. Okay, so this is the code of uh, cylindrical manipulator.